this video, I'm going to show you how to measure your fasting blood glucose level. To do this, you'll need your Easy Touch glucose and cholesterol monitor, a lancing device, a lancet, your green glucose test strip, and your green code key, both of which can be found in your vial of glucose test strips. The first thing you're going to need to do is insert your code key. This code key tells the monitor which test strips you're using, which batch. So the code key goes into the slot at the back of the monitor and it will only fit in it in one orientation and you just want to be quite firm and slot it into position. You'll see that the top of the code key lies flat with the monitor. Once that's in, the, the monitor will know which test strips you're using and you're ready to proceed with the test. So at this point it's a good idea to wash your hands uh, with nice warm soapy water. This will minimise the risk of infection and also will help raise the blood vessels to the surface of your fingers so that you get a nice blood supply when you prick your finger. So take your test strip and insert the barcode end into the slot at the top centre of the monitor. This will spring the monitor into life and will flash a number and that number should correlate with the number in your test strip and your code key. After that you'll see the blood drop symbol appear and your monitor will be ready to take the blood sample. So take your lancing device, unscrew it, place your blue lancet in the slot provided, push down, uh, twist the circular cap off, exposing the needle, so take care at this point and then re-screw the top of the lancing pen back on. Select the depth setting that's appropriate to your skin. Engage the pen by pulling back. Hold over a fingertip and then you're going to press the middle button to activate the pen. On doing so you'll feel the pin prick and the needles retracted back into the lancing device. Put your lancing device to one side and allow your pinprick to bleed. Now don't try it, don't squeeze your finger too much as this will create a, a diluting effect and reduce your blood glucose level. So allow it to bleed naturally as possible. Take your monitor and and the side of the test strip, so not on the surface, but on the side where the arrow is, you're just going to allow the blood to soak along the test strip area. As soon as it's soaked up enough, you'll see it count down from 10. And you should shortly receive a glucose measurement. Mine's 5.6 millimoles per litre. So it's a good idea to have some cotton wool around to hold over your bleeding finger, that should stop in a, in a minute or so. And then you can take your 5.6 measurement, or whatever yours is, and write it on your results card, alongside your fasting glucose. Now, we need to have a fasting sample, so that means you're not allowed to eat or drink anything prior to this test. So for about eight hours, so this is best done first thing in the morning, when you've just woken up and haven't eaten overnight. Uh, it's important that it's fasting because that tells us uh, what your blood glucose level is without any influence of your diet. So as soon as you start to eat something, your glucose level will automatically go up. So your fasting blood glucose level, uh, write that down on your card and then you can go to the website healthcheckinabox.com and enter that in at the results analysis page. 